What's up guys? I'm back today with another video on the channel and as you guys can see by the title we are going to be going over a new football game on PC that we can also put NFL rosters onto. However, naturally, as we all know, EA has the licensing agreement with the NFL, so this game is naturally not licensed by the NFL, so none of these rosters are naturally in the game. To get them in the game, you do have to mod and put them in the game, but it is super, super simple, uh, and I'll be going kind of how to do that in the later parts of the video and stuff like that. going to be a short video, just going to show some of the rosters, and then I think I have one drive on defense, one drive on offense. I think it's like Jaguars, Patriots. I think that's one little short two short drives i have so anyways quickly we're going to be going over some of the players and their overalls uh and stuff like that some of the top players at each position quickly though i did want to say i know some of the players are not going to be like the same overall as they are in men but this is the roster that was available when you download the mod and obviously you can go in here and edit some of the players and edit their overall and stuff like that because i know i saw some players that i thought should be higher overall or low overall um, in my opinion, but you can go through and change those if you wanted to as well. Quickly though, I did want to say that the gameplay might be a little bit laggy. I'm not sure why it is laggy, but usually when I record Legend Bowl, it's not laggy, but it is going to be a little bit laggy in the gameplay portion and maybe in this portion as well. So I quickly wanted to apologize for that as well. But like as I go in here, uh, the game is not meant to be run with this NFL mod. You can go through and edit the players, but it's not meant to be met played with an NFL mod. Uh, there's also an NCAA mod, but it's not meant to be played. So there's going to be some glitches, going to be some bugs uh, in this game as well with updating these rosters and putting all the logos and stuff in there. So that is going to be why if you see any little messed up stuff like that, or if the game plays a little bit weird, or if it crashes sometimes, that's going to be what happens. Also, this game is in early, early access, so it's not fully done. It's not fully developed yet. It's made by an indie developer. It's made by one guy. Uh, I'll leave, probably leave the link to that, the whole website in the description below so you guys can go check it out as well. Uh, the game is $24.99, I'm pretty sure. I think it's 20, or maybe it's $19.99. I don't know. <laughs> it's either $25 or $20, uh, one or the other. Personally, I think it's a great worth it, totally worth it. But anyways, let's get into the game. I'm gonna show you, like I said, you guys can see what's in the background, going over some of the rosters and, and showing you guys some of the logos that are in here as well. Uh, and then we'll get into a game and some of the gameplay as well. But quickly, like I said, it's a modded game. It's not meant to be modded. So the rosters or the gameplay might be a little choppy at some points. And it's also in early development. So you're going to run into bugs as well. But personally, if you want a simulation game that is a cheaper price, a lot cheaper price than Madden, this is worth your 20 or $25. Uh, the, N the NFL mod is super easy to install. The NCAA mod is super easy to install. Uh, I'll leave the link to the probably the website, and then there's the Discord that is also on there as well. You pretty much literally just download the roster, change a file name, and boom, you have the rosters. Super simple, and you can always go back to them later on as well. But this is a ton of fun. Super excited to have this on the ch on the channel, and super excited to have this game available for us to play. So if you guys have not checked this game out, definitely make sure to go click the link down in the description below. You guys can go check the check check it out. Um, you guys can go check the developer out. I'll leave all the links probably to the developer, the website, uh, and then probably the Discord too as well down in the description. But we'll see what happens, and I'll leave <laughs> what I remember to leave down in the description. But you guys can see the whole Jacksonville logo on the center of the field, NFL, AFC, everything like that. The players are right. The end zones are right. It's absolutely insane to see this. Uh, and I know the graphics may be a little bit of a turnoff for some people looking for a 3D game and playing differently but for personally i don't mind the graphics i think the graphics are really cool i think it's a cool concept and it doesn't feel arcadey like it should or like it looks like it should it feels kind of more like a simulation game it feels like the players play how they should and i know the developer works super hard trying to get the gameplay as locked down as he can at any time in the discord uh people run into bugs any problems like that uh they notify the developer and he goes and he comes out with patches almost weekly at this rate uh, to fix gameplay and work on other things as well. At the moment, as you guys can see in the beginning, if this is the first time you have ever seen Legend Pole, uh, definitely make sure to go check it out. But you guys can see there's like so many other options. You can edit the rosters, exhibition, tournament mode. Career mode is a little light at the moment. Uh, you can play through one season and that is it. So that's a little light, but I know he was talking about that being the next thing that he ends up developing. 
get a fix of the gameplay portion of things, and then start working on the career mode and add depth to the game before he fully releases it out of early access. So if you guys are thinking about getting this game, I would definitely make sure to pick it up now because I know he's almost done with the gameplay developments and then career mode is next. Uh, so I know he's going to put it out fully and he could also raise the price of the game to whatever price he wants to pay, wants to charge for it. So if you guys are looking to get into an NFL game that you can, or a football game that you can get some NFL mods on and NCAA mods as well, this would be my recommendation for people. I think it's a great game. I think there's so much potential here. And for the price that you're paying, it's definitely worth it. And I know he has plans to port this game over to console, to Xbox, PlayStation. And I think he was saying Nintendo Switch as well. So I think there's so many options for this game. So if this is your first time checking out the game and first time on the channel, I upload legendable content every Wednesday. Uh, and your subscription would be greatly appreciated. You guys can check out some of the other videos I have on the channel and the videos upcoming over the next few weeks. Without further ado, I'm going to end this video off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, check out the links in the description. I know this game might be the visuals might be a little bit of a turnoff but i think the game has so much potential and i definitely think you would enjoy it so i'll leave all the links down in the description probably the website the developer all that kind of stuff give so much props to this game i love it i think it's got so much potential and i would definitely recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already but without further ado i'm gonna end this video off thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video see you guys